Hi friends, it's Mari here for Honey Bee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this really beautiful card that you can see here on the screen. I'm going to be using a bunch of products from the recent Sealed with Love release from Honey Bee Stamps. This is the card here, and I'm actually going to be recreating this card that I created earlier in December, and such a beautiful project. I just wanted to create that again here for you today. This is the geometric background stencil. I'm going to be using that for some detail behind that beautiful rose on my card here. So you can see this just creates some really fun texture. This is the Lovely Layers Rose die set. So this is uh, a standalone die set that creates just that gorgeous, beautiful rose that you saw there on my card. This is the Delicate Doily uh, die that creates the the outline and the kind of embossed impression of that doily. And then this is a coordinating stencil so that you can create some really beautiful ink blending on that doily. So here what I'm going to do is I have that geometric background stencil on some white cardstock and I'm just going to run some texture paste through that stencil to create the texture behind my rose and behind the delicate doily that's going to be the base for that rose. So you can just see here I'm using my Nouveau silico silicone spatula just to draw that texture paste through the stencil. I'm going to try to smooth that off as much as I can so that the texture that this leaves is nice and smooth on top and it's going to be quite thick and create just this really nice texture like I said. So when that, I'm just going to set that aside to dry and here you can see I've taken this doily die and I have run that through my die cutting machine with some white cardstock. It cuts it out obviously and it also embosses all of the detail in that doily. Now that makes it really simple to just lay the, the stencil over top of the doily and add a little bit of ink. So I really wanted to go with that same blue color scheme that I had in my original card. I'm using a bunch of inks from Pink Fresh and I will uh, make sure that I list these in the description box below so you know that what colors I used for this project if you would like to duplicate this color scheme. You could use any of the inks that you have in your stash of course you can use your oxides or just whatever you have and create any type of color scheme uh, that you would like to go along with your project. So here you can just see I'm starting off the lightest color of blue then I'm going to gradually go into darker colors to add a little bit of detail. I did want to leave one side of the doily quite light just to almost kind of create a bit of an ombre uh, color scheme here with this project. So I'm just going to, like I said, go ahead and slowly but surely get darker and add kind of a little bit of a dark um, outline around the center of that or around the edge of that circle and the inside of the circle. And then also a little bit of darker detail uh, in the lace of that doily there. So just adding that in with my honeybee brush and I am using one of the smaller detailed brushes for this blending. It just works really well. And I just used that same brush for all of the different colors of blue. I just uh, rubbed the excess off on some paper towel in between the colors of ink. This is my shimmer spritz in that clear shimmer. I've just spritzed that over top of the doily and now I'm just going to set that aside to dry. It just creates a really pretty sparkle and shine. I've die cut out all of my lovely layer rose die pieces out of white cardstock and I'm going to use the same colors of blue that I used for that doily to color in the and blend the color onto the roses and what I did was I created a darker um, hue at the bottom of the rose and then at the top and I kind of tried to vary with the different layers leaving a little bit more white on some and a little bit darker on others so that when you see the rose in the different layers you can see kind of like a variation in light and dark in the layers. I think it just makes it look a little bit more interesting in that way and I didn't want the, the blended color to be solid. I just wanted there to be a little bit of impression of some light hitting the petals of this beautiful rose when it's all assembled. So again, just starting with the, the lighter color going into the dark as I build up the color and using that darker color at the base and then just on the tips of the petals. So just going to finish that up and I'm not going to show you ink blending all of these different pieces because I do exactly the same thing for each one of these different layers. And then I will show you how I assembled this rose as well. 
So I'm just using those inks to blend that on and get that all done. Now I'm using a couple of colors of green for my leaves and I just wanted a really nice pale light green and then kind of almost like an olive green color. And I'm going to just start off here with the lighter and then use a little bit of the darker as well. And again, I'm not going to show you coloring all of the different leaves. I am just going to show you one leaf here and then I will color the rest or blend the rest off camera. But I just wanted to show you, I'm kind of using basically the same method as I used for the flower where it's darker at the base of the leaf and then kind of a little bit of a lighter area. Now what I did was I lined up my leaf uh, or I should say my rose petals from largest to smallest die cut so that I know exactly what layer goes on top of what. And so you start off with the largest die cut piece, then you go to the next size and so on and so forth till you get to the smallest size there. And that's how you know how to line these up, or at least that's how I did it. Um, it seems to look great when I'm finished it. So I'm pretty sure this is the right way of, of lining this up. And what you will notice when you line these up too, is if you can see the embossed part of the die. Um, so the die, some of the dies do emboss some of the petals and those embossed petals should be showing, they shouldn't be covered up. And so you know that you've layered it properly when you can see those embossed bits. So I'm just using foam adhesive between all of the layers and this does make this super thick. And so this probably isn't something that you're going to mail unless you're going to put it in a, um, you know, a bubble envelope so that it doesn't get damaged in the mail or you could even put it in a little box if you wanted if you are going to ship it but it definitely would cost quite a bit more to mail this thick card as opposed to if you just um, handed it to someone but the the thing is if you wanted to just create it without all of that dimension you definitely could just add um, liquid adhesive between your layers as well now I'm just working on that little bud and again I am going to make this really super dimensional with lots of foam adhesive in between the layers. For these smaller tiny little areas I used some glue dots just to get that same little bit of or at least a little bit of dimension as I had with the foam adhesive and just putting that little bud together using those glue dots in that way. So I'm just kind of fussing. And it is really great to have these uh, honeybee precision tweezers when you're working with these tiny little pieces like this. It does really help to assemble things together. So I'm going to put the leaf, uh, leaf pieces together here now as well. Again, using a little bit of foam adhesive on those bits. Now this piece does go onto the bottom of the rose and what I did with my original card that I made and I wanted to do that with this card too is just take some of that green ink and blend that onto the bottom of the rose so that it does look like there's a little bit of greenery there as well. And here you can just see I'm going to start to put the foam on those leaves and assemble those as well. Now the really cool thing about these little leaf bits is you could actually cut this stem up and put the leaves wherever you want. You wouldn't have to necessarily use this stem with the three leaves on it. You could trim the stem up and you could put the leaves around the rose in a different way. Totally up to you. You could uh, definitely be very versatile with this die set and use it as you see fit. And I'm just going to cut up some tiny little foam pieces so that I can get some dimension on these really small little uh, layered pieces here. And again, just using some glue dots there where I need a really teeny tiny little piece. And that's going to do it for those leaves. I'm just going to finish up here with this piece that goes on to the bottom of the rose. And then I will start working with these pieces on my delicate doily card base here. So this just looks so pretty. I do really love the blue and green. I think it's a gorgeous color scheme. And I just think that it really sets off that beautiful rose so nicely. So there you can just see that doily is gonna layer over top of that textured stenciled area. Now I have cut that uh, textured stenciled area to five inches by five inches and added it to a five and a half by five and a half inch card base. So there's a nice little bit of a margin around the edge of that textured piece. I'm going to, or I have popped up the doily on some foam adhesive as well. I've added a little bit of glue to the foam adhesive 
backing just to make sure that that is going to stick to that texture paste. And now I'm just gonna use my honeybee glue tube to adhere this really dimensional rose onto the doily. And I'll do the same thing with the leaves and get those adhered to the base of that rose and, or to the, yep, just to the base of the rose there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do some splattering with some white Dina Wakely gloss spray. And here I've used the uh, Biddy Buzzword Be Mine set. Love this so much. And I've taken the word heart and I've trimmed it out three times out of white cardstock and glued those layers together. Now I've also cut the heart outline from some blue cardstock that coordinates nicely with the inks that I've used there. I've glued the heart uh, sign or the scripty heart onto the base. And now I'm also going to stamp out that sentiment, you are my, from that Biddy Buzzword Be Mine set as well. I'm going to use the Be Creative embossing ink. This is a brand new product to the shop. So this is the new Honey Bee Stamps branded embossing ink and watermark ink. I'm going to stamp that onto that sentiment and get that stamped onto some white cardstock, which I've treated with my anti-static powder tool. I'm just gonna go over top of that with some black embossing powder. I'll melt that with my embossing, my heat tool here and get that nice and melted. And that's just gonna give me a really nice dimensional sentiment for my card front. So I'm going to pop up my sentiment on some foam adhesive as well and just get that onto the card. There's just a really nice logical spot to pop this onto my card there just below the rose and to the left a little bit. So I'm just gonna use my tweezers to help me get this into the right spot. And then I will add the you are my to that little space above the word heart. So I've just added some foam adhesive to the back of that sentiment and I'm just going to use my tweezers again to help me get that into place. There's just a perfect little spot above the word heart there for that sentiment. I'm going to get that stuck down there. Now I just wanted to take that bud and add that in above the sentiment there. So I will go ahead and just push that into the area that's not adhered and it just fits perfectly into that spot. Now I am going to show you the first card that I made off camera and I'm just showing you just that subtle difference of putting that bud in a different spot. And of course I did make the card base on the card that I made today for you slightly larger so you can see that leaves that little bit of extra margin around that textured piece behind the doily. I really love how this turned out but I also want to add a few gems and so I'm going to add some gems from a, I think this one is called beach vibes possibly there's so many gem stickers from honeybee i love them all they are awesome and i just wanted to add a few that just sort of like look like little crystals and i'm going to add i think five to the card here you can just see kind of in a triangle shape and i love how that just adds a little bit of extra bling to the card so you can see these two cards now all finished side by side and i did want to also add a sentiment to the inside of my card so i'm going to grab a sentiment from the inside kindness set this is another new set that's part of the release and I just love that so much. I'm going to show you that sentiment set here as well. Tons of sentiments on that set. It is a large one and so many awesome different things that you can use to stamp on the inside of your card. And then there is also a coordinating die set that you can purchase separately from the stamp set that cuts out all of these different sentiments if you wanted to die cut those out, which is awesome. I love how my cards turned out. I hope you guys did too. I hope you were inspired. And I did link up to all of the different products that I used today in the description box below. Bye friends. I'll see you soon.